We haven't um, looked at the uh, Nefesh HaChaim together in um, a number of uh, weeks, so I um, want to get right back into it. And I want to I want to start with Parakut Gimel. We left somewhere in the middle of Parakut Alpha base, but it's a lot of rayas. I want to get into Parakut Gimel, but at the same time, um, in order to understand how to go further, I'm going to have to go back just a little bit. Um, but let's just start with the words. And I want to really um, try to solve a, um, a something enigma, an enigma that I've sta- sitting with me like. Um, probably since I went to yeshiva when I was, uh, whatever it was, kindergarten, um, always heard, um, always heard to, about limud Torah in a certain way. And to be honest, I never clearly understood it. And I want to try with the Nefesh HaChaim to understand it in a very deep way. And that is, um, if I can just go back for a minute to Parak Shardal and Parak Yud Aleph, the Nefesh Achai makes a monumental statement, and he says, "The Ms. Bilti Shum Safek Klal." He says this in Yudalif, and he says, "And the truth is, without any Safek in the world, Im Haya Olam Kulai, Mi Kotsev Ad Kotsehu, if the entire world, from one end to the other." from the North Pole to the South Pole, from Australia to Israel. If the whole world, if there would be a world, God forbid, which was completely void of any limud there wouldn't be one tzaddik anywhere in the world learning Torah. Karega in that one second, Hayanachravim Kol Hailamais El Yonavitachtoinim, the entire world would collapse. Would collapse. Not just this world, but all the worlds, the worlds El Yonim Vitachtoinim means the world of Atsilas, the world of Brida, the world of Vitsir, the world of Asiya, the world of Malachim, the world of every world that we ever heard about, it would all collapse, meaning the Marechet, the entire system would collapse. Same thing is, if there's a lot of Torah, or by contrast, a little bit of Torah, the world exists according to the light of the Torah that we're displaying. Now, um, what I, what I mean to say, that's a very famous and unique statement, as far as I know, of the Nefesh HaChaim. I don't know, I've looked, and I don't know anybody else makes um, this kind of a statement. Um, and, you know, there's Tigers, I think, the Nefesh HaChaim says that that's why the, um, you know, it's it's morning here and it's nighttime there. And there's always a moment and a time, you know, they used to say when I lived in Australia, like, we have a special Achrayis to learn Torah because everybody's falling asleep over here in the world. It's all up to us. Okay, this is the Nefesh HaChaim's Yisait, that a world without Torah would collapse. I don't know what that means even. Does it mean it would turn? L'toyu vavayu. Toyu vavayu. From like it was before creation. This is, by the way, everything we're going to learn now is very important for this week's parasha. Abreish is bar lakim as hashemayim as aretz. Well, aretz haisa toyu vavayu. We came out of the toyu vavayu stage, and we could go back into it if there's a lack of limud hatayr. The question I'm asking is very it's, basic. That statement sounds like uh, Yom Hashishi, Mark Fazal, that it's totally the only until the Sinai. It's a similar concept. Yes, right? yes. Okay. Um, let's get there. I just, very, very basic. I mean, I think, you know, like, we all know the Vertilach, but the question is, what is, like, why? I mean, maybe if the whole world wouldn't be wearing tzitzis. You know, um, or the whole world would be no chesed, oilam chesed yipana. It just seems very extreme, and pardon me, just to make it clear, very yeshivish to say that it's all totally in limud hatayr, tafke in limud hatayr. If we turn to Parakid Gimel, which is what I want to learn today, ayidei esek hatayr hakadosha, what happens with tayr is ayidei esek hatayr, learning tayr. Again, we're not talking about now 
learning Tyra in order to be a better human being or learning Tyra in order to, like an instruction manual to know what I'm supposed to do, I'm supposed to do mitzvahs. I'm learning Tyra to understand the Ramazim and the Gematria. We're not talking about any of that. We're talking about Asa Katyra, like Amar Rava, Amar Abayu. Aidei Asa Katyra Akdosha Nishlam Kavanasa Yisbarach Babriya. This is a Shlemus of Hashem's Kavana in the Bria. Shahayirak Bishvil Hatyra Shiyaska Ba Yisrael. That was only created for the Tyra. Can my marim zechreinim levracha bracious, 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 Yisrael Atayra shenikra bracious, or Yisrael Yisrael shenikra bracious, or Yisrael Moshe shenikra bracious. So there's this Indian of, it's it's I say it's a puzzle, like or do we really understand this? That that okay, so it's called bracious. So is the first tevua. That's what the Gemara, that's what the Chazal are referring to, by the way. The Bikurim that you bring. Rashis. So it's Rashis. It's, it's, it's the beginning. But, like, how, why would it be Ad Kedekach? And I really want, you know, like we're a mature group. I want to understand deeply why is it Ad Kedekach? Is it really true that without Limon Atayra, there would be nothing? Tohu Vavohu. And the reason is that's in Parakud Aleph. And the reason is because in Parakud Gimel he tells us, well, you know, without Torah, you don't have Rashis. So we don't have Rashis. How does Moshe fit into this? Shehu Asarsor the Kabbalah Satir. And because he is the um, agent which brought us Kabbalah Satir, meaning he was Machaber the Shemaim Ba'aretz in Kabbalah Satir. Kiv Yochel who Yisbar Sameach Bemaisa by Lama Yisrael. It takes us back to the beginning. It takes us back to the very beginning. Sorry, a little bit. I don't, I don't, you know, like, true that he's explaining it and he's bringing us more chazals, but I still want to understand. And, and just to clarify, Rabbi, you, you're saying that I, he was mechadesh this, essentially? I, as far as I know, I even Googled it, um, this that he says in Parak Yud Aleph, this, these clear words, that if there would be no Torah, mikatsa ad katsayu, there would be no Bria. When you say the world would go back to Toyo Vavayo, means there would be no Bria. Everything we're learning about in this week's partial we're going to read in Shul, is the Bria that took us from Toho Vavo to the state we're in, in all of history. So that will not happen. So let me let try to explain this in very, I believe that is the Chiddush of Ruchayim. Elijah, if somebody knows differently, speak now. I don't know that it's a Chazal. I don't know it's a Zoyar. I don't know it's Rishonim. I, I even looked in the Gra, thinking that's where it came from. It's it's just a. Didn't Rabbi Chal have, an, Rabbi Chal have an idea of having people learning twenty four hours a day so that there would never be a lack of Torah in the world? Yes, but he never, but he never, but doesn't say this that the world would be Torah of I can understand that. I, I this I can I mean as much as I understand I can understand that the world is better with Torah. Spiritually, uh, you know, on all levels, that the world would go back to Tov of oh God, but like that. The Ramchal doesn't say, well, he is daiti Um So, round the clock Torah. And by the way, this Torah could be L'chayra, one person learning Torah. And this you do find support for in Chazal, that this tzaddik is holding up the world, and that tzaddik is holding the world, and the Lam and Vav tzaddikim are holding up the world. But again, that's more like being tzaddikim, not necessarily limud ha So let me let me um, offer here the following. The um, there's a Mishnah in Pirkei Avos. Take note because this is another thing which I think needs to be clarified. Shaninu Avais. We learn an Avais Paragimel Mishnah Yudalot. And there the Mishnah says, famous Mishnah, Chaviven Yisrael. Okay, everybody wants to know what are Jews different than Goyim. 
<laughs> so the answer is that once you're Jewish, Chaviv in Yisrael, Shenitin lahem kli chemda. We were given kli chemda. Taich, what's the translation, kli chemda? Beautiful toolbox. Kli <laughs> chemda. Tools. Chiba yiseira nardas lahem. And it was a special amount of love that Hashem had for the Jewish people. Shenitin lahem kli chemda, shabai nivra ha'olam. That it, not only did he give us klichemda, but he gave us the klichemda shabai nivra ha'olam. Now, I, I, there's a little repetition here in this mission, no? Chaviv in Yisrael, Hashem loves the Jewish people, and therefore, I guess, shenitilam klichemda, he gave us tools. Doesn't even tell us tools for what. And chiba yiseira, but not only that, extra amount of love, he doesn't just give us tools. I just a har and pshat. The, the Mishnah could have said, "Chaviv in Israel, shenita lahem klichemda shboy nivra ha'olam." Could have just said it. I don't have to say it in two steps, but I think that the ish bezemashu. And I think that the pshat is like this in that Mishnah, and therefore in what we're talking about. The, the, um, here's another famous thing, and let's connect the dots. The Zayar. The Zayar says, Istakul Baraisa Ubara Alma. Shem looked at the Tyra as he created the world. So we always thought, okay, like I think it's always translated in the English books, that the Torah is the blueprint, blueprint of the world. Yeah, not the way everybody understood it. It was a blueprint of the world. Hashem looked at the I mean, he created the Torah. Let's, like, like, let's not learn this as a God. It's a Muslim shot. He created the Torah before he created the world. And then he opened up the Torah and he said, okay, I'm going to create the world according to the Torah. Um, I presume, I don't know if that means he looked at the whole Torah, if he just looked at Parshas Bracious, or he looked at some other Torah completely. I don't, I don't know. But, um, meaning, like, nobody could say that, um, I mean, this is a simple shot, nobody could say that, like, the Torah or mitzvos don't fit into uh, this world, like, you know, like, get real, we're living in the world. No. On the contrary, like, this is the design. The design of the world is such that it's based in the Torah. So the Torah came first, not the Torah came first. So you can't say that the Torah is being like stuck into the world. The, 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 the world was created according to the Torah. So the Mepharsha Zayar, and that Zayar, it's in Parshas Truma, in a few places actually. Mepharsha Zayar explained that this is something completely different. Yisakil bar bar alma, something completely different than what, what I'm saying right now. Istakal baraisa bara alma means, and like let's not be medayik in the words of desire because we you have to know how to learn desire. But this is this is what even the Ramak says that it's it's not that Akedas Baruch Hu used it as a blueprint. Let's get that picture out of our mind now that I put that picture in our mind. Rather, like we say, kol oisiyoy shibatayra shemay shel Akedas Baruch Hu. Oh, so this is a very deep thing. Listen carefully. The, the, the very letters of the Torah are the Shem Ois of Hashem. What does that mean? A Shem Hashem means the, the um, expression of Hashem in this world. Like we learn a Shem Hashem, we learn like Shem Elohim, there's Midas Hadin, you know, there's Midas HaChesed, different Shem Ois. Kol Ois Yishim Every letter in the Torah is Shem Hashem. What does it mean? Like imagine it raining letters of the Torah. The, the, the letters of the Torah are the very expression, the oisius of the Torah, not even the, 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 the words, but the oisius of the Torah are the very expression of creation. So not that Hashem, hear me out on this, not, not that Hashem used the Torah as a blueprint. He took the Torah 
And those were the, the words and the letters that he used to create the Torah. You understand the difference? Not, I'm not claiming to know what this means. I'm just saying this is the, the Yisoyed as we have it. That the world was not was created with the Torah. Yisrael Baraisa, okay, Bar Alma. I'm going to create the world. And the world means all the alumni's. It's going to be, so it's not according to the Torah. It's actually with the Torah. Huge difference, huge difference. So it means that, that rather than a blueprint, it, it means that the Torah is the homer of the world in <laughs> essence, is is the is a construction material of the world. Yeah. Or or maybe not the material, but the it's it's he used the Torah to create the world, Gufa. Like, I don't know if... Maybe it's the, chi, the chius, like the life force, the, the generating power behind it? Like, like a toolbox. Um, in other words, this is what I'm going to use to create the world. It doesn't mean that every tree is made out of Torah. But, and it doesn't mean that it's a blueprint. What it means is that, okay, here's the Torah. I'm going to use it to build the world. That's all we need to know for right now. I'm going to use the Torah to build the world. When, when we talk about, as I, I'm going to repeat, we talk about the Shemus Hashem that we're familiar with. So when we talk about the Shemus Hashem we're familiar with, we talk about the Midas Hadin, Midas HaRachamim, the Shemai in Beis. We, we, talk, we have all kinds of uh, knowledge about the Shemus Hashem. Those are all um, um, spheroids, Kilo, um, that are used to create the world. It's like you say, Chesed, Gevurah, Tiferes, Netzach, Hoji, Said, Malchus. Not that the world is made out of Chesed. You suffer, you understand this? It's not that the world is made out of chesed. What it means is that, that chesed is a light that goes through the world. That's the R of the world. As is Gvur, as is Tiferes, as is Netzach, as is Hoyd. So, so when the, take it, let's take it a step further. Be makabal my Yisoyed for a moment. But let's take it a step, a step further. The world was created when? 5,000, Tafshin Pei Aleph. No. This Chazal teaches from the Pasuk, HaMechadesh B'chol Yoyim, Tuvay, HaMechadesh B'Tuvay B'chol Yoyim, Tamid, My Sebrashis. So, okay, although we're reading about Brashis, Bar Elohim, Ezer Shemayim, Ezer fact is, this is the whole Shar Aleph of Nefesh HaChaim, for those of you that missed it, I will say it in a sentence, that Hashem creates and is a constant creation and recreation of the world. Listen to this. Um, if Hashem is constantly creating and recreating the world, like, like everything we're doing right now, we're sitting here. It's not that, oh, he created Zoom in 2020 or whenever it was created. No, we're in real time. We're in real time. You, you plug in, you plug in the camera, you plug in Zoom, you get your computer, and we're in real time. This is what's happening. You pull out the plug, you push off, it's not working. So it means to say Hashem is creating this every second of the, t of the day, just like the, the electricity is coming into your lights, just like our, my voice is going over to you over, over a network. Um, Hashem is creating the world. Kacha, exactly, Hashem is creating a world every single moment of every single day. What's he using to create the world every single day? Well, we just said, istakel baraisa baralm. It means to say that not just, there's two chidushim, chidush b'tay chidush, that not just as Hashem creating the world over and over and over and over again, but what with what is he creating the world? Bameh. And the answer is, well, just like the first time. When he created it the first time, Istakil Baraisa Ubara Alma, he used the Torah to create the world. So, okay, so that Torah is really Netzach. Very important. But that's important in Shemayim. Why is it important for us here? Okay, that's the mechanism that Hashem uses. The answer is look, Moshe Rabbeinu said, I want that Torah. And I want to give it to the Bnei Yisrael. And by giving it to the Bnei Yisrael, they too, or they 
perhaps only will will be mechadish mechadish betuvay b'chol yom tamid ma'isa bereishis. So you think when you learn a taisus, you're learning a chiddush taira? No, chiddush bria. Seems to be a little. This early, early we said it's not really the chomer gelim. That there's not the building materials. It's not the rocks and the sand. It's the tools. But the tools have an aspect that when the job's done, the tools aren't around anymore. This thing it continues. There seems to be a bit of a shiluv between what was actually that something that's mamshich as well as the toolbox. Because when, when the worker's done, the toolbox he takes his toolbox and goes home. And nothing, nothing of the toolbox unless you leave the hammer up in the. I, I, the I believe I'm. I, I'm I'm very always uh, hesitant to mix metaphors, but I'm going to okay. do, I'm going to do so right now. Um, you know, I think there's something we understand these days that that it was almost impossible to understand 200 years ago, and that is energy, um, electricity, light. Um, I don't mean energy. I'm not a physicist, but I mean to say that it's real time. You shut the switch, the light goes off. So is the electricity the Homer Gelem of the light? No. But it's, th this, is, this is the, for lack of a better word, the tool that's being used to create a situation where light comes out of our globe and my voice is coming to you with a picture and everything. So what we're talking about here, let's, let's look at a noob shot in a toolbox more like a programmer has a toolbox than a, than a carpenter has a, a toolbox. And that's what they call it, no? I mean, I write on my Mac on the bottom, I see toolbox. <laughs> so the, the point is that the toolbox is that which can manipulate the, uh, not the Homer Gellum, but that which goes into creating the world. That, I could have who used Tyra. I mean, I'm just, it's a muscle, obviously, it's not electricity, it's not energy, but I could have Shbaruch Hu, Shemoisev Shal It's 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 a it's a kind of a light, like the spheroids are a kind of a light that is energizing and powering, powered by Torah. Moshe Rabbeinu, who Nefesh calls him the Sarsar Hagadol, he was the great, I'm not advocate, but agent, said that if Klai Yisrael's makabel the Torah, so now, um, you know, uh, it's biyadenu. And we're being mishtatev in the Bria Soilam Gufa. So it means like, um, like, Kolalayme Taira Lishma, Nasashutav Lakarish Barachu, but my sabracious. But it's not talking about the my sabracious fun yenim, you know, the original my sabracious. That also had something. That was like the first thing. Whoa, the lights went on. But we're talking about the ongoing. Maisa Bracious, a machadesh, betuvay, b'choyayim, tamid, maisa Bracious, happening through Tyre. Again, let me just recapitulate my uh, chiddush here. I think it's a chiddush. And that is that it's not, if, if Hashem used the Tyre to create the world, and he creates the world on an ongoing basis, tamid, so al you have to say, simple logic and math tells you, al he's using the Tyre the nitzchias of the Torah to continuously recreate the world, Chiddush 1, and Chiddush 2, he gave the Torah to us at Matan Torah. He put it biyadenu. This started already with Avram Avinu, where Hashem said, I'm a chasani me Avram. <laughs> He's a shutaf here. But now it's an interesting thing. As long as, comes the Nefesh HaChaim, Perakid Aleph, and he says, as long as somebody in the world is learning Torah, ideally everybody should be learning Torah, but as long as, long as somebody's learning Torah, that means that the, 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 some, some prefer a Jew. He gave us, look at the Mishnah again. Chavivin Yisrael shenitin lahem kli chemda. Chiba Yisera noidas lahem he gave it he gave us the tools that are being used to create the world 
And therefore, says the Nefesh HaChaim, if nobody's learning Torah, the world goes back to Toyu Bavayu. And the more quality the Torah is, and the more uh, quantity of the Torah, so now uh, automatically you're going to have a better world. You have a better Bria, Bria filled with more ore. That's what he says here in Parakid Al. He says, the more you... The more you right. It's also, um, it's clear, obviously, that now we've become Shutfim in the Kodesh, with the Kodesh Baruch of creating the world, because otherwise it wouldn't go to Tov Abo if we stopped learning. Exactly, Max, what I said. Not says Shutaf la Kodesh Baruch Hu b'maisa b'reshis. This is exactly the Chazal that I quoted. And it's, the, the, the Gemara says a Chiddush, not only um, Limud HaTayra, but also... Um, it also koladon din emes la mitai, right? Not so shutav la kodesh baruch hu ma'isabreisha. All those shutfim in the ma'isabreisha is not just agadata. It's just what it is. In other words, that we are a chelik, or if not even almost the whole thing, of uh, it's more than even like we are. Um, God is almost a silent partner in this, because not so shutav la kodesh baruch hu. But the fact is, if there's no tyra, Hashem says, okay, you're not doing your thing. Why, why does Hashem do this? Let's just uh, go there for a second. And the answer is because um, Malchus, because the final sphere is Malchus. And Malchus tells us that Hashem wants the, 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 the Shemus Hashem to permeate the earth and it should be a, a beautiful world and a world of chesed and a world of Torah. Why Hashem created the world, I don't know. Scientists don't know. Nobody knows. But, but um, at whatever it is, our job, our job the, the workers here, are to be or to make it into a malchustika world, um, ultimately with with uh, the gula, ultimately the gula is the ultimate malchus. So, um, what, so, so what, what, how does that? How do, how do we, um, we had learned in the past the two types of limudat teira. There's the limudat teira shema, and there's limudat teira in order to do mitzvahs. So, how do mitzvahs fit into this picture? In other words, are we talking about only the limudat shema? What are we talking about? Rav Nefeshachaim says before it's limudat teira lishma. That's what we're talking about. Okay. Now, mitzvahs do fit into this, and uh, I'm going to try to um, explain it. But let me let me let me see if what time is it. Rav Haver, could yeah. I suggest um, that that as our as shutfim, it's as if it's as if if hisarusa de la tata doesn't meet up with hisarusa de la ila and and connect the 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 circuit, then then it's it, it's not operative if 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 we're not if, if we're not doing our part like two keys to a safe deposit box but if but in but isarusa de la tata isarusa de la ila if if we're not doing our bit then then the whole barreket doesn't work anymore you know i'll tell you something um which i don't want to say just because of time but i'll say it anyway um you know the the and, and I'm going to answer your question also about mitzvahs. At the same time, there is a big difference between the luchos rishonos and the luchos niyos, because the luchos rishonos. I'm not going to say the kids or something that's important. But you side of Yiddish guy, the luchos rishonos were, as you're calling it, isarusa de la a gift from God. It had everything in it. And if if we would have not, we we messed it up because we made the eagle. And I don't know if it's good or bad, but uh, but it's it you know the Gemara gives the Yasher Koach to the people to made the eagle like Baruch Hashem. But I'll tell you what the Yasher Koach was for. But not that we did an Aver. I'm not saying a Baruch Hashem and the Aver, but they, the outcome came out okay. But the Luchas Rishonos Benes Hayuimdim. It was completely something a Kadosh Baruch Hu Moshe Rabbeinu brought or could have brought um, uh, the Torah to the world. Look look at what it is. But then um, that was a one way relationship. Yisachar, one-way relationship. When Moshe Rabbeinu went back up, that was the, the, the holiday of Shavuos, yeah? Um, he broke the Lucha Yudzayin Batamus and he went back up and he pleaded with God to, to, no, let us back in. And at this point, I'm quoting all the Tanoim Amirayim in Mavarshim. At this moment, when Hashem said, Salachti Kidvarecha, so he changed the terms of the relationship. Now, if so, Chazal say that with the Lucha Shniyos, there came Tereshabal Pah. What does that mean? 
It means that now we've got to spend the rest of our life and the rest of our history trying to figure out what these luchos are. Like the luchos were, and there's really three le levels if you want. Um, the first level was on Shavuos itself. We heard, Anoichi Hashem Alekecha. We heard, which is really, Boch Havakuk, and he, Vemidon Alachas. On, on Shavuos was the mountain Torah, Nasa Venishma, Kabbalah Satayra. On Shivasar Batamus was the Shvir Saluchas. On Yom Kippur, Hashem said, Salach Tikid Varecha. And we got this new idea, this new Torah. Yiddish guy changed. What was the change? The change is, okay, I'm giving you Torah. You're building a, an eagle. Let's do this differently now. Let's be Shutfim. Anilu Daidi Vadaidi Li. I'm going to do mine, you're going to do yours. So now we're stuck with the rest of our life. Omar Rava, Omar Abaya, Frank Teisvis, Omar the Rashba. Um, all this is trying to work out Torah and Chidushe Torah, meaning things that we didn't know before. So listen to this. Amechadesh betuvay b'chol yoy maisebreshes. Right? According to the, the Chidushe Torah, this is in the Taz, according to the Chidushe Torah, the word Mechadish is the Chidush world. If I'm saying a good Chidush now, the world is a better place. If we're understanding together something that we didn't understand, the Bria is different at this moment. Now, I, wa I want to make one Ha'ara while I'm here. Um, okay. So, what happened on Yom Kippur? Gemar Chasim But then we say that the end of the the Chasim was only like on Sukkot. So I was just thinking about this. Hashanah Rabbah is Chasim. How many times do we need to <laughs> have a Yom Adin? You know, again, we just got relaxed from Yom Kippur. We just said Neila. We're all of a sudden saying Hashanahs, which is the Yom Chasim is And not only that, you know that the... Um, it wasn't until Sukkot that the Anani Akavod came back to Kla Yisrael. So why not? Why Sukkot? Why not Yom Kippur? Salach Tikit Varecha. And here says the Gra, a powerful, powerful thing. That as soon as Moshe Rabbeinu came down from Har Sinai, he started saying, okay, everybody, here's the Torah. Let's get together first thing. Get your gold, get your silver, like you did there for the Egel Azav, and let's build a Mishkan. Let's build a Mishkan right here in the Midbar. And, it, and, it w and that was on the, um, the 11th day, the 12th day of the month of Tishrei, the 13th day of the month of Tishrei, the 14th day of the month of Tishrei, on the 15th day, Kalam Lacha, we got everything together for the Mishkan. And we started building the Mishkan. When we started building the Mishkan, so that's when the Anani Akavad came back. Amatia, listen to me. What am I saying? I'm, what, why didn't he give us the Anani covered already with Yom Kippur? So, Lachti Kidvarecha. The answer is, I forgive you, but you didn't do nothing. <laughs> you didn't do anything. You're, 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 you need to be a shutta for the, in the, in the vice of the Baisa What What'd you do? You asked forgiveness, Yom Kippur. What'd you do? Let's see what you do. So, these days we build a sukkah. At that time, we built the Mishkan. Give your money. Do something. Take off your earrings and give it to the, the, to, to the Mishkan. And we did. So now, because of the new terms of relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, where it's not the Luchas Rishonis, where he's just giving us something, but now there's another thing we need to do something too. We need to give something back. It's even simpler, Yisachar, than Yisarusa Delayla, Yisarusa Lasata. Simply our relationship. There's no, there's no one-way relationship. What's a one-way relationship with for an infant? But once a kid gets older, earn a keep. You have to cooperate. You have to keep the rules. So, so it was only that work for the first Lucas. The what? How were you shut with the first Lucas? We were not shut with the first. It's good. The first Lucas. No. The first Lucas were ready for other Marishim. Exactly. There was, there would have been no shutfus. I tell you something else. 
There would have been no Mishbeach. There would have been no Mishkan. There would have been no Teresh of Alpeh. And there would have been no base. Somebody, somebody is causing me an echo here. There would have been no Teresh of Alpeh. And there would have been no base Hamikdash. So, so when it comes to Rabbi Zayyash, it was like it had to be. It needed to be. That's what I mean. Yeah, in other words, now we have, you know, it's, I, mean, I don't want to, again, my metaphors, but I'm just trying to make it be Makar of So, you know, uh, sometimes you change the terms of the relationship and it works better. You know, until now it was a give and a take, but there was no give on the other way. Now it's give and take. So what was it? What's the essence of the whole thing? That we became shutfim in the Mice Abracious. What is the Kli Hamdo which are used for the Mice Abracious? Taira. Chidushe Taira. So now we have a whole new Yisoid of when learning Taira, okay, particularly Kla Yisrael, Chiba Yisera Shinar Daslam, Shinasan Li Kli Hamdo, Shibibibai Nivra Ha'ilam. Shabai, that with those these klichemda nivra ha'olam. That's a chiba yisera. By the way, everybody could have had this. Hashem offered the Torah to everybody, but we said we took it. We said nasav and nishpa, and we became shutfim at that moment with kabbalah satayra. Skivald. May I may I just try to focus on something? We read different things and sometimes we take them literally and sometimes we take them figuratively. When we when we read the Pasuk, we read the Pasuk on the Khadesh Bituvo Khadesh Bituvo Koyon Tomid Massay Grace. Intuitively we take it figuratively because Every moment, every moment that the world is not destroyed, world is not destroyed it's as if it's as it, is it is recreated. recreated. What you've been saying you've in, been the saying the in the name of the is that we need to take that, that literally, that literally, word for word, word for word, the, my the, the, is my being created, created each moment, each moment, as long as Torah is being learned. Thank you. Thank you for the focus. Thank you for, thank you for the focus. And that's a... And that's exactly what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. Let me just mute everybody here because I'm getting on. Getting a big echo. There's an echo, uh, an echo in, the uh, in the system. Maybe that's better. Is that better? Yeah. Um, let me let me. Um, it's, first of all, thank you, Ephraim. That was that was correct. And not only is it correct, that's the chiddush of everything we're saying now. That it's a literal thing. Um, if we're going to understand this at all. And that is that HaKadosh Baruch Hu creates the world with Torah, and specifically we gain the knowledge with our Torah. And where did we get the Klichemda? We got them at Har Sinai. That's where we got the Klichemda, by the Luchai Shniyos, because otherwise we don't have those Klichemda. The Klichemda, the Kalim, when he gave us the keys, as you're saying, when he gave us the keys, he gave us the Klichemda, he gave us the, we you have the energy to create the world, so now, we are now responsible in a very literal way for what the world looks like. And if God forbid, says the Nefesh Haim, if God forbid there would be zero Torah, there would be nothing, you're, up, you're pulling the plug on the universe. Simple as that. Now, let me, let me just, um, we only have a minute. Actually, we have four minutes. So let me, let me um, at least begin to, to talk about something. But in, in this side here, which is probably... Not just a good a good um, lesson in Nefesh Achaim, but it's probably like the most important you saw in life. And I, and and by the way, like you know, I think let me be political for a second. You know, we we're we're, we're such victims of, you know, uh, you know, you know. Are you learning? Are you working? Are you in the army? Are you this? Are you that? It's all beautiful. It's all important. It's all wonderful. But not, not, not any of those things should be um, muznach. That's, you know, like this is why I just like hate politics. Because, I, hate, I hate news because it, it, it's, it, it's in, a, in a wonderful world. Obviously, we need people that are making money and we need people that are giving tzedakah. The Gemara says we even need people that are taking tzedakah. We need people that are um, doctors and we need people that are protecting us and we need people that are learning Tyra. The learning Torah, getting involved with learning Torah, I don't even know that it's more important per se. 
that Shulchan Aruch doesn't say that. But what it does say here that we're learning is that when you're learning Torah, you're makayim the world on a very basic level. You're, 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 not, you're not working in the world, you're working from the machadish betuvay b'choyim ma'isabrashis, and somebody's got to do that. Who has to do that? There has to be one person doing that all the time, and the more the merrier. That's what the Nefesh Chaim is saying. I just want to make that, um, like, let's, let's, like, like, for the purposes, like, here in this space, Medrash, let's get all the politics out of our head. I, I, it's, it, and let's, let's think about what Yiddishkeit is supposed to be. And, and it was always Koyahanim and Leviim and, and another bunch of tribes doing all kinds of things. That's, that's not the point. And Levi, maybe, at one point, was holding up the world. Sheva Levi. And then the Rambam says, Oi, Sheva Levi, move on. But I, I want to... Um, But, but I'm sorry if I can just ask because the Rav said the more the merrier. But we learned um, the way back. We're talking about the Shem Bar Yochai and when he was in the cave and he came out. But we learned from there that we need there are people who need to be in the world as well. So where do we draw the balance? You know, it's not meant to be political. And how do we know? You know every, is every, that hundred percent of people should be learning or? Every, everybody, know, everybody has to learn, and everybody has to be Isaac in this world. That's what Shem Bar Yochai learned. So the question is the balance. I think it depends on the person. <laughs> That's my personal opinion. But uh, everybody has to learn. Everybody has to do something for the world. I mean, you're not allowed to be a mitzvah chalat zibur. Uh, you know, oh, a city a city needs asara batlanim. <laughs> what are they for? <laughs> yeah, asara batlanim. Have have respect. You know, I, I don't know if people like you know uh, uh, who's holding up the world. It's a it's a it's a it's a complicated marechet. But the the machadesh betuvay. But I don't want to get away from what I'm saying. Machadesh betuvay b'choya ma'isabrash. Let me end with this gemara. Bear with me for a second. The gemara in Sanhedrin Sadik Tess. Ha'oymer. If somebody says, "My ahanilan rabbanon," the gemara says like this. The gemara. If somebody says, it's not like a rosh kolol in arad. <laughs> this, is, this is the Gemara. Gemara says, if somebody says, my ahani lan Rabbanon, Rabbanon Rashi says, loim de Torah. That's what he says. What do they go? What are they doing for the world? Apikaris who? The Gemara's sugya there is, hechadam apikaris. What's an apikaris? Somebody says, my ahani lan Rabbanon. Says Rashi, the great Rishon, the great Mefarish. I have it here. We're told that the Pasuk says, this is Rashi, Imloi brisi yoimam v'layla chukai shamayim v'aretz loi samti. So think about that Pasuk, not barisi, not created, brisi, if not for the bris. Imloi brisi shamayim v'aretz, I ever hear once in a while, I hear Amaretz say, Imloi barasi. Imloi brisi shamayim v'aretz chukai shamayim v'aretz, shamayim v'aretz chukai shamayim chus loi samti. So it's totally in Torah. Says Rashi, quote, Behain Enom Yoidim, these Apikursim, these people that say Maya Halila Rabbanon, Enom Yoidim Shao Oilam Miskayim Alehem. So now I'm going to take back everything that I said, because I said before the Nefeshachayim has no Makar. It's a Rashi in Sanhedrin Sadak Tesla Madalaf. Hain Enom Yoidim, these Apikursim, meaning to silly people, foolish people that don't know. That you're saying Maya Hani Lo Rabbanon, and you don't realize, I don't know if it's two Rabbanon, 50 Rabbanon, or a whole city of them. But Maya Hani Lo Rabbanon, Hain Enam Yoidim. Apakar sounds like, okay, you're like a Makulkal, but they don't know, foolish people, you don't know that if not for these people that are Loim De Teira, there would be no Kiyum Ha'ilam. Hain Shaha'ilam Miskayim Aleyhem. So that's where I believe, that's my Makar for the Nefesh Achaim. And there's a lot to say about this one. I'm not going to say it now because it's 10 o'clock, so I wish everybody a Hatzlacha Rabbah and Bracha.